everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator. I've been in the business for about 15 years. And before that, I had a border collie and her name was Timmy. I know, that's a little weird because usually we think you would name your border collie Lassie and Timmy would be the owner, but it was a boy border collie, so we couldn't really name it Lassie. And one time I actually fell in the well and Timmy ran to go and get help, but he was like, burf, burf, burf. and the neighbors were like, What's wrong, girl? Did Timmy fall in the well? And he was like, woof, woof, woof. And that means, no, you idiot, I'm Timmy. Gene is in the well. So they didn't even bother looking in the well because the one neighbor pointed out to the other neighbor that that was Timmy. So obviously he couldn't have been saying that Timmy fell in the well. So anyway, he was really a, not a very good savior kind of dog. But luckily I had a really strong cat and the cat was about this big, but he climbed down the well and lifted me out with one paw and I was safe. Now let's get into uh, doing some crafts uh, with some border collies. Border collies. Every kid watching this probably is too young to remember Lassie, but essentially it is a Lassie dog. So we're gonna concentrate on the Border Collie head for right now. So we do a circle. And then for the snout, we're gonna come out here a little bit and just do a little bit of a kind of a triangle deal. You can even go across the, the top there and then cut off the triangle at the bottom. And we wanna not forget our center line, okay? We're gonna do uh, two lines kind of parallel to the center line right here. And then I'm going to go two big triangles, two big, crazy, like happy to see you, awesome triangles. Then from here, I'm going to go straight down and we're going to go a little bit of like a poof out there. And I don't even know what this shape is. I guess it's, I guess it's another triangle. I'm going to consider that a triangle. See that? You see the triangle there? Always be looking for the simple shapes and everything but we're gonna give it a little bit of shagginess uh, and make it a little bit wider here. And then we're gonna cut in a little bit, cut in a little on this side. Think of it as like, if you're into comic books, if you're older, it's kind of like Wolverine. It's got these like crazy like sideburns that come out. Or if you don't know what Wolverine is because you're not into comic books yet, then uh, don't think Wolverine because you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. So we want basically another triangle nose, but it's going to be a little wider. So here's, a, here's an actual triangle, and you want to give it a, a little bit of roundness, a little bit in here. Now, border collies are very happy. So we're going to do one of these. Now, these are basically two rectangles, okay, if you want to get simple with it, or just one straight, um, straight triangle like that with the middle cut out. Uh, then we're going to do another triangle like this, okay, just barely touching construction lines, fill in the ones that you want to keep, and cut it off at the bottom and make it round, but uh, we're going to come in the middle here with another rectangle, and we're going to give them a tongue, because border collies, pretty much all collies, uh, most dogs, I would say, it's not even specifically collies, they're notorious for slobbering on you, like the dog sees you, he's like, oh my goodness, there's my master, I haven't seen him in so long, and now I'm going to slobber on you. And dogs are always happy to see you, so there it is. And we're gonna go in here a little bit. And there you have it, there's roughly your border collie. So now what I wanna do is tighten up some of these lines. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come in here and just decide, just be confident with your line, don't worry about it, just decide. This is where this is gonna live. This one will be a little bit out here because the border collie not necessarily symmetrical. There you go, there's the ear. And we'll trim this down a little bit. Trim that down a little bit. There you go. And okay, so now we know where all this lives. Now we can get to cutting. So everything that's in this area, right, we want to cut out because this is going to be the white space so, and then down here, this area is where that's going to live. All right, so take your paper and give it a little bit of a bend. I'm going to take the yellow part. Take your paper and give it a little bit of a bend. Don't crease it, though. And all you want to do is take your scissors and just whoosh, right there. And it's okay if you crease it a little bit in the center, because all we're doing is we're making a hole. Whoop, I'm holding the scissors upside down. See? I'm way older than seven, and sometimes I might even need a parent's supervision with the scissors. Okay, and then cut out all the area that we just said a second ago was gonna be the white space. 
There you go. Cut that out. Now remember, don't worry about these uh, all the construction lines and our sketch lines and that kind of stuff because we are going to flip this over and magically all those sketch lines are going to disappear. In fact, you don't even have to cut out this tongue the way I'm cutting out the tongue because what we could do when we're all done is we could get a little piece of paper, and a little piece of red paper, and specifically cut out a tongue from there. But for now, I'm just going to do one of these. I'm even going to cut at the bottom because why not? And do one of these. Connect it again. There we go. Now I'm going to come in here and fold this this way. Okay, because we only have a little bit of space there. So if it's creasing, I want it to be a manageable crease. Cut out this part. Now remember, uh, Border Collies have like patchy looking faces. So they have a lot of really dark area and then they have a lot of really light area. And we're going to cut this out here. And if you want, you can cut out the eyes. This kind of cutting is a lot easier if you have an X-Acto knife, but for you young kids, I don't want you getting into the X-Acto knife just yet. If you're older, if you're a teenager, and you have an X-Acto knife and you're skilled with it, and that's totally cool, grab your X-Acto knife. It's going to be a lot easier for you, because when you get into these little curved, tight situations here, the X-Acto knife will be able to cut that out really well, really fast, really easy, whereas these safety scissors, the paper sort of gets in your way. And that's one of, the, one of the reasons why I like to use an X-Acto knife for a lot of this and not scissors. But since uh, I am gearing these videos towards, towards the little ones, I want to make sure that you guys are using your safety scissors and that nobody gets hurt because you're supposed to be having fun when you're doing crafts. Okay, a little bit more cutting here. And grab the other side. Should be pretty simple. If you want, you can even cut out the eyes uh, because those will be a little bit different color. There we go. Now when we put down our basic color, like this yellow here, and we flip it over, right now that looks like nothing. But there we go. Right now that looks like kind of like nothing, like what's going on there? I don't even know. But then when you, you, can, you might not be able to see this, but there are some creases in the paper where I drew uh, a little bit harder with the pen. And now we can go back and draw over top of those creases in exactly the same spot. And you're going to see in a second here that the dog magically just appears. Now again, if you want, you can come back in here with the, with the red and put the tug in. And if you want, you can cut the eyes out. There you go. There is your Border Collie. So there you have it. I wouldn't recommend naming your dog Timmy. Probably go for Lassie because otherwise you're going to confuse the neighbors. But uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, it's just a real simple technique uh, in using negative space in your paper crafts. And uh, in this case, we did it to do a border collie, but you can use it in uh, any type of dog. You can use it in any type of paper crafts. Uh, so now you know the technique. Experiment. Use it in some of your other projects. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.